Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a four weekly update on my crypto goals for 2019. So this is for week 32. And before I start, apologies for my very croaky voice. I've been a bit under the weather the last couple of days, which is why this video is a little bit later than usual. Um, but hopefully you still be able to hear me okay. And if you haven't been following this series, this is basically where at the beginning of the year I set out my kind of crypto goals. So I split out some monetary goals into different revenue streams. You can see here, uh, staking, masternodes, trading, investing, and social. And the goal was to do $100 a week uh, from each. So let's see how we've done over the last four weeks or so. So starting with staking, if you haven't seen these graphs before, basically the line in green is our target. So that's $100 a week. So week 32 is $3,200. And then the lines in blue is what we've actually uh, made. And you can start to see a little bit of variation now in this kind of staking. It's because um, we've done so little, it's, it's quite difficult to see, but there's been a bit of a tail off the last four weeks or so. And that's largely due to the fact that I've been selling off a load of coins from my smaller kind of staking uh, coin. So I've been trying to sort of rebalance my staking portfolio towards the larger coins. So I've been moving from a lot of the smaller coins over to stuff like kind of NEO and Stella, uh, which has obviously its inflation rewards. And I've also been accumulating stuff like Cardano, which hopefully will have its delegated proof of stake uh, happening maybe the end of this year, we shall see. Um, so there's been a bit of a sort of downturn in kind of staking. I've also uh, taken advantage of any kind of pumps uh, certainly in the last sort of four to eight weeks to actually sell off a load of kind of staking coins or the smaller staking coins and move that into BTC or other coins I'm looking to accumulate. And it's been a similar uh, sort of similar process with the masternode. So whereas before I took all my masternode payouts and staked them, so for stuff like um, Bulwark and Volcano and Syndicate and stuff like that, I basically took um, I took both the staking rewards and the masternode rewards and I just staked those rewards. So they compounded up over time. Um, but as... Um, I've sort of become a little bit sort of less keen on some of the kind of projects. Um, we've had a bit of a downturn in kind of mass node revenue um, overall. So Syndicate has basically died as a project now. Uh, Bulwark, obviously, at the beginning of the year, we had big issues kind of with. And we've had a downturn also with Smart Cash and Volcano as well. The two uh, mass node projects that have done pretty well are Metrics and Helix. Helix is a, a tiny kind of cap uh, project, but is doing really well. I think it's up about 70% uh, year to date and Metrics up about 55% year to date as well. So they're both done uh, pretty well. Metrics uh, used to be called Linda, so you might know it as that uh, before it rebranded uh, about a month or so ago. Uh, but there's been a bit of a downturn. As I said, there's no uh, payout to the last week for uh, Syndicate. Over the last few weeks, you know, just the price of the coins really has impacted the payouts in kind of masternode revenue. And then we've sold off a load of those kind of like masternode kind of payouts, which we were staking before um, into kind of other coins. So into Bitcoin and then been buying up other coins I'm looking to accumulate as well. So a little bit disappointed on the staking kind of front. We are accumulating some of the large coins. So I'm still accumulating stuff like Stellar and Neo, uh, which will help us kind of going forward in the, lo in the long term. But they are sort of pretty low payout coins. So Stellar has a 1% inflation, Neo, uh, stakes gas obviously but it's around sort of three four five percent uh, a year so a lot lower than maybe some of the sort of like traditional kind of staking coins where you're getting maybe anywhere between sort of 30 and a 100 percent kind of um, a staking kind of rewards anyway moving over to uh, trading we've had a good week this last week i actually had um burst coin which is the only coin i'm actually kind of mining now it's a proof of capacity coin and i've been mining it for probably a couple of years now i would have thought two two and a half years something like that and um, about five weeks ago, I sold off a load of kind of burst coin um, into BTC and I've been waiting for um, a price to buy at, uh, buy back at and it hit that uh, price this week. So um, made I think about $160 in that, that kind of trade. I sold a whole 100,000, I think it was burst and then bought back uh, a lot cheaper. Um, I generally hold about 100,000 just in case the project does anything in the future. It takes a big uh, spike up in kind of price and then any kind of extra that I'm kind of still mining, I tend to sell them off every kind of month or so. But um, with these small cap coins, you know, there are often trading opportunities. Uh, this week, I'm currently opening a load of different Different trades. Um, I think I have open trades in Neo, in Cardano, uh, Tron. I think closed yesterday. Um, Navcoin, um, IOTA. Lots of different kind of coins. I'm actually trading at the moment. I've got open trades for. So hopefully some of those close out this week. But trading revenue has been um, pretty good. You can see here we've had the occasional kind of really good weeks. Really good week here. Another week here. I think Neo is probably my favourite coin to trade normally trade sort of 100 neo at a time um which means that you know even a sort of a five percent um 
sort of spreading Neo or 10%, you know, can be a substantial amount. And what I tend to do is every time I kind of trade it, I try and get an extra one or two Neo. So if I'm trading kind of Neo, if I make 5%, I might um, keep an extra couple of kind of Neo and then keep the rest in BTC to move into something else. So bit by bit, I'm increasing the number of Neo I have, but also taking some of those profits in uh, BTC as well. And then investing, this has been a you know real success story. You can see, I mean, a little bit up and down over the last few weeks, but that huge spike up and then a bit of a pullback from that and then a couple of weeks ago we've had another decent spike up if we look at this investment portfolio you can see that here there's a link to this below but you can see it's it's pretty bitcoin uh dominant um see this started back in may 2017 it's not a, a massive portfolio but it was just sort of really an example of um what a sort of like a reasonable amount you know just putting a little bit in here and there can do and we did we haven't put in anything since january so 21st of January, if we look, if we collapse the coins, you can see uh, Bitcoin by far my largest position. I think there's a, uh, here we can, yeah, so you can see exposure here. So about 80% is now Bitcoin in terms of worth. And we've got small amounts of some other coins. So we've got Bulwark, um, Ethereum, Linda, Nav. Um, what else have we got in here? Um, Crypto.com, that's down a bit actually, but it's airdropped uh, Crypto.com uh, chain token, which is, um, uh, which is worth a lot more actually than the original kind of MCO. This was Monaco when it first uh, launched. The bulwark figure is completely wrong. Um, I'm going to have to find a different portfolio tracker from Crypto Compare. I really like Crypto Compare. I've used it for quite a few years, a couple of years now. Um, but they just don't keep up to date with a uh, project. So Linda is now metrics. That still hasn't been updated. Bulwark, um, they only grab their prices for one or two exchanges. So when Bulwark was removed from that exchange, rather than not have kind of figures or update from a different exchange, it was tied into the Satoshi value as of that date. So as Bitcoin has gone up, it thinks Bulwark has gone up in price. It's now saying it's worth 22 cents and it's worth, I don't know, around four cents. So completely inaccurate, which, it, you know, does put our figures out. For the large coins, it's not a problem because they're on lots of different exchanges and the, the figures are pretty accurate. For some of these smaller coins, um, it, yeah, it's a really poor performing uh, platform for that. So Crypto Compare, I do, uh, I have recommended it in the past, particularly for larger coins, but the small coins, you know, I have other ones with like stuff like Volcano, it's still not listed. Um, the only Volcano they have is a completely different project that has been dead for years. Uh, so I have contacted them about a couple of these coins saying you need to update um, you're kind of kind of pricing or update these kind of coins, but they haven't got back to me or anything like that. So um, I am on the lookout for another um, portfolio manager. I might move, move over to Delta or something like that, but we'll see. But um, yeah, the investment portfolio has done pretty well. You can see that massive spike up to sort of $30,000. We're back down to about 25,000 and now as the Bitcoin price has uh, gone down a bit. But um, overall, see that's that big pullback from sort of 30,000, I think um, there and then like another uh, rise up. But it's um, overall in really positive territory. We have a target of 3,200 and we're well over, what's that, about 17,000, something like that at the moment. Uh, moving over to social, this has been a really poor performer. I make maybe five bucks a week, something like that from kind of YouTube um, in ad revenue, tiny amount of that. Uh, I did used to receive some payouts in a Vulture, sort of referral payouts. So you get $10 here and there when people signed up from some of my Masternode setup tutorials. But I haven't really been doing uh, as many of those recently. So that's kind of dropped off a bit. So this is basically just YouTube revenue. I do have some other little bits that at the end of the year I'll, I'll add in to make it kind of more accurate. But there's not a lot of other stuff really kind of coming. Just a little bit of YouTube revenue. Uh, pretty low. And, you know, I don't really see that increasing massively without a sort of like a huge ball run and a huge amount of people flooding to find out about crypto and we might take advantage a little bit of that it might increase um, again a little bit but yeah very low at the moment and then you can see our total revenue here so we're in positive territory we've been in positive territory now for about three months three or four months so it's been uh, good to see been driven largely by the investment portfolio if we jump back you can see this was the big uh, spike up so the investment portfolio was in in positive territory before that but um, the overall one dragged down a little bit by um, the poor performance of some of our other revenue streams. But we're in uh, positive territory. We almost pulled back towards the line there, but you can see jumped uh, back up uh, above that. If we look at the actual figures, these are our totals. So uh, 3,200 for each different one, that's 16,000 total. And then you can see uh, the percentage of the target that we've made. So you can see staking only 7.7%, uh, Masternode's 20%, trade in uh, 68.7%, so almost 70%. I think that will head towards 100%. I'd like to get that over 100% by the end of the year. Uh, investing 550%, so way above, five and a half times 
uh, our target and social the poorest performer they're just 6.1 percent of our target achieved but overall 130 percent so that's pretty good 16,000 target 20,903 so just shy of 21,000 actual profit so it's a, a difference of almost five thousand uh, dollars so uh, heading in the right direction everything's looking reasonably positive um, providing the market sort of like stays where it is hopefully picks up a, um, a little bit more uh, this second half of the year and then just finally before I stop here's my coin accumulation target so I changed the graphs here um, so the first column is uh, how much I owned as of the first of January uh, the second column is how much I own now and then this third column is uh, my target so these are just sort of like generic kind of like long-term targets they're not things I'm uh, necessarily aiming to get to uh, this year but these are my targets so BTC XRP EOS uh, Stella, Tron, Cardano, IOTA, and NEO. Uh, I have to say, IOTA, as I mentioned, I think in my last update video, it's, it's one I'm not really looking at. I might replace this with something else. Um, EOS isn't a project. They're, they're not all projects I necessarily like. I'm not a big fan of Tron. I'm not a massive fan of EOS, but they are projects that I think might do well in the next bull run. I think for um, you know all the negative things you can say about kind of Tron, and there are many, um, I'm not debating that at all. Um, Justin Sun is, you know, he is a bit of a marketing uh, kind of whiz in a kind of way um, people within the kind of like crypto kind of industry I know get annoyed with these like you know pre-announcing an announcement of an announcement which may be made in a few weeks of a different announcement but um, when you have a lot of new people coming into an industry which no doubt we will do during the next kind of ball run you could see a project like Tron you can see stuff like kind of EOS I think potentially doing really well they're not necessarily coins I want to hold for five or ten years but if they have a really decent spike up during the next kind of ball run you know and we can take some decent profits i'll move out probably back into projects that i do believe in a bit more like btc um cardano and stuff like that so anyway this is where i am my kind of targets um over 50 percent of my stellar targets and we're around quarter of the way there with xrp over quarter with neo um btc this is the most important one i'd like to eventually get to 21 uh, btc but anyway that's it for uh, this video apologies again for the croaky voice uh, but hopefully you've been able to uh, hear me pretty clearly um let me know your comments um below or let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, it's always good to hear from you i've got loads of new videos coming up got a new hardware wallet that was shipped to me uh, a couple of days ago so i'm going to do a video on that in the next couple of days i'm quite excited to look at that uh, but thanks very much for watching um consider subscribing that'd be great give me a thumbs up thumbs up that would be fantastic as well helps other people find the videos and hopefully i will see you on the next video have a great day bye bye